We consider water to be a very important necessity in our day-to-day -day lives. We use it to bathe, to wash clothes and dishes, to water lawns, to prepare food, and most commonly, to drink. However, all of those uses pale in comparison to what we actually need water for. Water bottle flipping. So let's take a quick dive into the history of water bottle flipping, shall we? So historians claim that the popularization of the water bottle flip blossomed in the 16th of the 21st century. It became a phenomenon that spread across the country faster than Donald Trump could say China. 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 So with the craze converging across the globe, people started to wonder, what's so interesting about flipping a bottle? What is interesting about it is the physics. It's not just one simple equation that you can use to show you how to do a perfect bottle flip. There's many different laws and models and concepts of physics that all get combined at the beginning, right when you're holding it, mid, flip, and upon landing, ton of physics. Even physicists at different universities like Northwestern University in the States still haven't come to a solid answer as to why this phenomenon happens. However, I can still explain the general physics just so you have an understanding of what is going on. To start off, there's a sweet spot when filling a water bottle for a water bottle flip. Generally, about one third full of water is perfect for flipping a bottle. Now, if there's too much water in the bottle, let's say if it's all the way full, it'll be like spinning a solid object, like these bagels, for example. I was just spin it, it would just like, oh my god, dear god, that did not plan that properly. Oh, Jesus Christ. So yeah, spinning a full water bottle would be like spinning a solid object. There'd be no room for the water to move around. So filling in a third full will allow the water to move around and adjust to the angular momentum, which we will talk about in a second. The flip begins with a flick of the wrist. This generates a specific force called angular momentum. It applies to any object moving around a point, just like the Earth around the Sun. Another key factor is the fluid dynamics. Liquids are unlike solids, where their molecules are able to move freely and independently from one another. It is important to consider fluid dynamics when talking about the flip of the bottle. Because, for example, if we had molasses in here, the viscosity of molasses is much higher than water, and it would not be able to move around the bottle at the same speed. Therefore, the flip would be a lot different with molasses than it would be with water. When the bottle is released, it starts to transfer its angular momentum to the water in the bottom of the bottle. But, the water has more mass than the bottle. As this angular momentum is being transferred to the water, the ro rate of rotation begins to slow down until the water is back at the bottom of the bottle where it will land upright and squarely on the table. To keep it simple, we just looked at the angular momentum and the fluid dynamics of flipping a water bottle. But there are other factors to keep in mind too, like parabolic motion and center of mass, which separately, all of these concepts are straightforward and easy relating to. But together, they create a very complex system. On top of that, we haven't even mentioned the experimental probability corresponding to the human error of not flipping a bottle consistently every time. But besides that, let's sum up the gist of perfectly flipping a water bottle. First off, it's best to have it a third full. Not too much that the water can't move around, and not too little so that the water will not have enough mass to slow down the angular momentum. Next, the flick all comes down to experimentation. Depending on the force you put into it, the velocity of the bottle, the height of the table, and other random factors that could come into play. So there you have it. And with just a little practice, you too could annoy anyone around you with the sound of falling bottles. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the best the sun will pop the clock to feed himself and family.